Hey everyone! In today's episode, we're going to learn how to install and run multiple Corona render versions at the same time. This option only works for Corona Render 5 or newer, and it's a great way to test different Corona versions or the daily builds without affecting our workflow or current projects. We're going to start by downloading the latest version of the daily builds from the official Corona Share Dropbox account. I also recommend downloading the offline material library and NVIDIA AI Denoise files. After the download has finished, we're going to move the installer and offline installers to the same folder. I'm going to leave the links to the downloads of the daily builds in the description. Run the installer and accept the terms and conditions to continue. In the install type, we're going to check Unpack Files and select the folder we created earlier for the installer. Click the Unpack button and then press Continue. What we are doing is unpacking all the necessary files to run Corona Render. These files are usually installed by default in the 3ds Max folder, but in this case, we're going to use them along with a batch file to open 3ds Max using this version of Corona. In the Install folder, press the right mouse button in an empty area and select Text Document. We're going to change the extension to .bat and the name to the Corona version. If you can't see the file extension in the name of the file, you need to enable it. For this, go to the View menu, Folder Options, View tab, and select Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Then press the Apply button. Right-click the file and select Edit. In Notepad, add the following batch code. I'm going to leave it in the description so you can copy and paste it. This batch file is divided into three sections. First, is setting up the environment variable using the 3ds Max version install. The second is the path where we unpack the Corona files. Open the Unpack Corona folder, Corona Render for 3ds Max, and open the folder with the 3ds Max version you have installed. Then copy this path and replace it in the batch file. And the last part is the 3ds Max installation folder. Here, Unless you have a custom path for 3ds Max, we need to select the correct 3ds Max version you have installed. After adding the folders and correct versions of 3ds Max, we need to save the file. Then, double-click the batch to run it. If everything was done correctly, we're going to open a new instance of 3ds Max using this version of Corona. You can repeat this process and have as many batch files as you need for different versions of Corona Render or 3ds Max. One of the advantages of this process is that we can test new versions of Corona Render with our projects and make sure everything is working correctly before installing it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.